Hello everyone, welcome to Scorcher Toys at AnyMoon.com's transformation guide for Bandai's DX VF25 Renewal Version Toys. Today I'm going to be taking you from Batroid mode back to Garewalk and then Fighter mode. So if you don't feel like digging out your instructions, maybe I can help. We're going to start by removing the gun from the toy's hand. Now obviously I am using the VF25G, but these transformation instructions should work for any renewal VF25 toy. I'm going to take this gun, put it aside for now. It's just way too cumbersome to go through the process with that gun in place. And then we're going to turn our attention to the hips of the toy and we're just going to apply a little pressure outward and that will release these metal clips that were connected into these slots right here. We're going to bring everything forward including these hips here. And what we want to do is rotate those hooks down Letting gravity help me a little bit here. Keep rotating your hips and you should get those metal clips to rest within the crotch housing there. Now we'll get those straight so it should be nice and straight like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and push back on uh, this piece right here. Now I did have a little uh, wing root pop off on me on the other side. If that happens to you it's no big deal. They're just ball joint. Pop them back in as it happens. And this next step is the scariest in transformation because what we have is the top of the nose cone in the back very close to the plastic above it and that is a black piece of plastic and you don't want to wear the paint off of it. So go ahead and lift your back up like I have done and then you want to pivot your chest forward and you want to go ahead and rotate the nose out and free. Uh, and then we can go ahead and just pull up the nose cone. Now it's got a peg in the front of it that goes into that slot. So you want to make sure it sits nice and flush. We can go ahead and close our landing gear door right now. And now we've got the front of the craft obviously ready for gear walk. While the last step was the scariest, this is probably the least satisfying step of transformation. What we're going to want to do now is recess the head. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring create a little slack in the back here by bringing back down the back piece. And then I'm going to take my head, I'm going to rotate it around and bring the gun down. And then I'm going to press it down a little bit. Now here I have the plate that the head is on. Uh, there's a hinge and then there's the larger plate that it's on. So uh, when you press down, you'll get the hinge to pop free, but you also need that whole plate that it's on to go down and in. So if you just try it with just the head, you'll get something like that. That's not enough. So get a finger up in there and try to wiggle jiggle in the plate that it sits on. And then you should get the head to sit nice and low and tight. And then we can bring back up this back piece again and everything should be flush. All right, your toys should look something like this now. And we've got a few things we need to accomplish. First, we're gonna go ahead and just bring back the top of the vehicle behind the cockpit and lock it shut. So now you kind of have that full top looking pretty decent now. Then we're gonna go down and move to the legs and we want to put them into kind of a gear walk position. So we're going to go ahead at the gear walk joint and bring them forward. Pull open your kneecap and extend the knee. And you can bring that forward also. We're going to do the same thing on the other side here. Kneecap out. Uh, and then obviously we can bring our feet forward a little bit. We'll deal with that more when we're actually putting the toy down. Now we have a support in the back that we're going to pull forward. And that support's going to go into that little slot right there. And so we're going to bring the legs down. We're going to bring the support forward and kind of get it into position. And we're going to rotate our hips and then peg the intakes into. They have a couple different pegs you can see there that are going to go into this slot right here. So we're going to just apply pressure to make sure they seat entirely. And do that on both sides. And we want that support in the back to also be into that little crotch slot. And then we should have something that looks like this. And we can go ahead and get our arms in the right position, bring down the wings, bring out the wings, and bring up our vertical stabilizers. 
And now obviously you are very close to being in gear walk mode. All right, all that's left to do now is some fine tuning. If you've had one of these uh, wing roots pop off like I did, you just reinstall them. Your shield might have popped off, reinstall it. Now with the legs extended, you have access to the twist mechanism. So go ahead and twist your legs out a little bit and then bring them forward. And then go ahead and angle the feet forward. Make sure your shoulders kind of right in this area are both lined up and you should have full range of motion on your arms. They shouldn't be hitting your wings. Uh, you should be in good shape. So that is gear walk mode. Now we can continue on to fighter. Transformation to fighter mode is pretty intuitive. I'm gonna go ahead and close my wings just to keep them from getting in the camera's way. You will leave them out. Turning our attention to the back, you can see the shoulder has a little white triangle there. There is a matching triangle in the blue piece of the VF25G. We're gonna go ahead and collapse that arm and they should sit flush with each other. And then whatever position you've got your hands in, you just wanna get them in a nice tight fist at this point. Go ahead and repeat on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the shield. We'll put that back on again later. In the meantime, we'll turn our toy around. We are going to pull out that little support. So just a little pressure upward, that support comes free and you can rest it there. Uh, and then we're gonna release our intakes. So we're just gonna pull these up a little bit, get those out of the way, because now what we wanna do is bring our arms around. So I'm gonna bring the wings down like so, rotate my arm over oops, to that position and then just swing everything back. Now you kind of have to watch things on both sides here. So on the top, you wanna make sure you're sitting flush. And on the bottom, you obviously you need to get over this piece right here and have everything lined up nice and straight. Now you have your fist, so it's got the back of the fist with the forearm there. Apply a little pressure inward. Everything should sit nice and flush. Now go ahead and do the same thing with the other arm. And again, as you get it into position, take a look at the top, make sure you're flush. Push that piece into position, make sure it's all lined up. Turn your attention back to the bottom, make sure everything's lined up. Now if you're gonna install the gun in fighter mode, this would be a good time to do it. You have a little bit of different trick if you got the VF25G, because you're gonna pull forward that gun holding clip. Other toys, it'll just cinch in right in between the forearms there. Once those are in position, we can take our legs, which have rotated a little forward here. We're gonna straighten them out. Both at the gear walk joint and behind. We're gonna close the kneecap. We're gonna close the feet. We're gonna open up this portion of the leg and we are going to pull that little fin out and then we are going to recess the extension in the gear walk joint. Make sure you don't have the twist going like I did there. And we're going to recess the foot fully in like so and repeat with the other leg. The toy now looks like this. The legs are mobile, you're not connected here. Wings are up, you might have your wings out but they're up like this. Let's go ahead and take our shield at this point and slide that into position. Now there's no fancy hook that comes out of the shield or anything, it just slides on. And you wanna do this before you've connected your legs because otherwise the shield will keep collapsing as it goes on uh, and that can become very frustrating to you. So go ahead, line it up and just peg it in, or slot it in. Mm -mm -mm. Obviously it's uh, fighting me a little bit here. There it goes. Uh, and you should have on the bottom, so I don't exactly have it, you should have the fists tucked in underneath. There you go, that looks much better. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and bring our feet up and into position. So get your hips down and peg them in just like you did for gear walk mode, just a little upward pressure and line them up and they will click into place. I'm gonna take these side pieces and just rotate them up 
and you will see all of the seams get flush. That one popped off again on me. There we go. So now everything's nice and flush. And now we just bring our wing down and you will see this peg will grab into this little hook mechanism. Nice solid click. Same thing on the other side. And then we extend our wings and we are in fighter mode. There's only a couple things you really need to watch out for for fine tuning purposes. One is the nose cone. Uh, it can be knocked ajar fairly easily. The landing gear bay below them also, especially if that land, the nose cone has been knocked out, you can get these shimmying out of position. If it looks like your wings don't really line up properly with the fuselage area, it's usually these pieces that were on a ball joint that you've seen me knock off a couple times. Just go ahead and angle those a little bit better and you should find everything sinks right into position. If there's any sort of issue up here, it's because the arm plate here didn't tooth properly into position. So double check that. Make sure you get your feet somewhat aligned and that you have the little anklets lined up with the back of the craft. And that should be it. You should be in good shape. Thanks for checking out my transformation guide. Check out my full article on anymoon.com. And as always, thanks for watching.